Somebody mentioned earlier, uh, President Trump reportedly planning to take new steps to block Chinese investment in U.S. technology. And then there is the European Union saying it's going to respond to Trump's new threat to impose a tariff on European cars. A lot going on. Let's bring in Jonas Max Ferris, MaxFunds.com co-founder and an FBAN contributor. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Investors are probably the first ones to feel the pinch in all of this. These trade disputes are really heating up. Uh, but, you know, doesn't the administration have a point when it comes to intellectual property theft? That's what we believe they're going to do. Stop Chinese companies that are 25 percent owned, at least by Chinese, by either the state or, or private investments from basically buying into our technology, putting the brakes on this. Yeah, this, this has the legitimacy. I mean, look, when, when Trump in the 80s to talk about Japan and buying up America and, and all the trade problems, that was kind of imaginary. The, China, the Chinese problem is, is legitimate. I mean, you're not talking about just companies buying our technology. The companies in China are intertwined and partially owned often one way or the other by the government. So it's, it's a little different and a little bit more of a security issue than like uh, just saying, oh, people in Germany can't invest in, in our technology companies. And our technology companies can handle this right now because everybody wants to invest in technology companies. Everybody wants to buy them. So there's not like, oh, without the Chinese money, what are we going to do? It's not, it's not like that now. So we're in a good position to, to kind of take on this, this ongoing problem where they basically walk all over intellectual property and right. try to buy or acquire somehow our, our right. technology. The theft, and that had not been addressed up until now, at least with the steel and aluminum. And you're right, they're using national security as, for the guys for all of this, the administration is. But what about American companies with big Chinese exposure? What about Boeing? What about Caterpillar? I mean, that's, those are the first two big names. Think gaming companies. I mean, there is going to be some side effects to this that aren't going to be good. For U.S. companies, yeah, and a lot of there certainly is, and, and it's not like it's all good. And, and Apple makes the phones in China, like that's part of the <laughs> yeah. deficit. So there's 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 problems with the logic here as well. But we're trying to get somewhere with the government and and have them not get away with as much. As far as the market impact, the stock market has been very weak in China. Their economy is the one that looks like it might be heading towards a recession. However, they're not giving up on buying Treasury bonds. You're not, you're not seeing interest rates skyrocket through 3% on like a 10-year Treasury bond, and then they right. are the biggest owner. So it's, it hasn't really, it's, it, I don't want to say it's all talk now because it's not just all talk at this point. You're seeing, you know, European auto companies moving off proposed tariffs, which makes less sense than dealing with China. But it hasn't, it hasn't really hit the consumer like in their head yet that this is going to happen. And I think investors don't really know, even if it does happen at the level that all the talk is at, is that necessarily right. going to cause recession? But we're looking at futures, Jonas. Dow down 172 in the pre-market right now. Before we go, i got to move over to the EU. You mentioned this. I want you to listen to what economic advisor Kevin Hassett uh, had to say about the EU side of all of this. The Europeans have a 10% tariff on our automobiles, which is in place before President Trump did anything. And those 10% tariffs are very harmful to American workers. And President Trump's position is just enough, enough. Enough, Jonas, but prices are going to go up for the consumer. Yeah, the, the story of anti-Germany is weak. Frankly, we got, we, they don't make pickup trucks for us in Germany because of our chicken tax on pickup trucks. So it's like you could talk back and forth all day about existing absurd tariffs that people don't really know about and the consumers don't really know about that you're only hearing half the story. Uh, that said, that is an, Germany's an export-driven economy, not like so much like these other European economies. They can't handle a 20 percent across the board tariff on cars sold to America. That is going to cause major economic problems, layoffs, et cetera. So yeah. this one's a little more frightening because it's a little irrational, at least to investors than China, and possibly more damaging to Europe and their economies. Hey, the DAX is down more than 1% right now, and Germany's the market that really is going to have uh, the, the worst hit. If this happens, a lot of ifs to deal with for investors. Jonas, thank you for getting up with us. We appreciate it.